Cheryl Tan joins us now with uh, a very interesting story. A mm -hmm. company in Virginia Beach is coming off a candy high after some sweet holiday success. Yep. The two co-owners were extremely busy this past Christmas putting together their handmade chocolate treats. A new year is here and so are some new opportunities to appease your sweet tooth. We had the chance to go inside Trafton's Chocolate to see how their innovative creations are made in Hampton Roads. When I think of a chocolate factory, I automatically picture Willy Wonka's. The ladies here at Trafton's Chocolates, they are on the same page. This vibrant workspace in Virginia Beach produces chocolates sent around the world. Christine Wangler and Susan Landesh have agreed to share some secrets with us. So Christine, how did you get started with the business? Well, I wanted to start my own business for years and this opportunity came about I didn't really know too much about chocolate and the guy that I bought it from stayed with me for about a year and he taught me everything I know and it's so much fun. It's, it's a good time. We're going to start off with our Granny Smith Apple. This is probably our number one seller. And this is our caramel. Get that really coated. And then we take off the cons and this is strictly for our apples. It's healthy because you have your fruit in there and your nuts which are always good for you. Now we don't pour it directly over the chocolate because of nut allergies. We don't make sure that there's no nuts in the chocolate. And we just cover the apple real good. Then we just take our finger and we stripe it in dark chocolate. And then we stripe it in white. And then we take it to our walk-in room. And then we just put it on a tray and let that set up. And then this is actually our finished product. Put that into our bag like that. And there you go. You have your big apple ready to be shipped. There is a daily routine. We come in here, get washed up, take off the wedding rings, and go up to get the day started. It's an amazing gift for any girl for any season and I love doing them. They're a lot of fun. People who think that it's easy to make chocolate don't understand that it has to be a perfect temperature, the humidity has to be right. We pour our molds and it's a very messy job. We get it everywhere. We're covered in chocolate from head to toe by the end of the day. People sometimes think that they can slip their foot into this and they could if they wanted someone to eat the shoe off their foot. That would be fine. I'll stick this into our walk-in refrigerator over here and let it set up. That's our finished product. What I do first is I use the, the purple luster dust and we just use a large, very soft paintbrush, and I paint the inside. Uh, we do a lot of these for brides in their wedding colors. They'll give them as bridesmaids gifts. I'm gonna go around the edges. And then everybody loves the glitter. The more glittery, the better, I think. These glitters are all edible. Yeah, how does that stick? Well, we use chocolate as a glue. So I'll just tip it over, put some chocolate on the back. And then I put the glitter on the inside of the shoe just to sparkle it up a bit. And there you have your chocolate shoe. We've heard that people find them in New York and LA. So we're happy to have a little taste of that here in Virginia Beach. It's not just apples and shoes here, plenty of variety and detail, all of which can be shipped around the world. Recipients know they were made in Hampton Roads. And Chris, I'm so impressed by the self-control of our co-workers because this shoe no. right <laughs> yeah, here has really. been sitting on my desk for a few days. People, they haven't even touched it. They've walked by and they've been like, it's what is art. that? It is white chocolate and purple, my favorite color. And completely edible. You can find these shoes, of course you can buy them from their online website, but you also find them at local charity events. For example, very appropriately, a walk a mile in her shoes, an event sponsored by the YWCA of Southampton Roads. It aims to bring attention to domestic violence and its impact on the community. I'd like to see them do a sneaker. <laughs> A chocolate sneaker. A chocolate sneaker. You know, yes. they're looking for some ideas, so maybe that will there be the next thing on their menu. You know, it's just uh, too pretty to eat, actually. It's, it is like a work of art. I've heard that, and I said that to the ladies, and they said, yeah, but it's it. worth it because it's so good. Yeah. All right, Cheryl. Great story. <laughs> Thanks.